Why do we sound muffled when we talk through a mask? What's happening here is that the mask is both absorbing and also reflecting the high frequency contents of the voice. This is similar to what happens when your housemate in the next room is blasting music and it sounds muffled in your room. The high frequency contents of the music, such as cymbals, are absorbed and reflected by the walls. And lower frequencies can travel further. As we covered in the additive synthesis video, timbre or the distinct quality of a sound is determined by the frequency contents of a sound. Timbre is what allows us to distinguish between a guitar and a piano. When frequency contents are filtered or made quieter, the timbre is altered. For example, unfiltered guitar sound can be described as bright. But when we filter out the high frequency contents, people use the word such as warm, round, or dark to describe the timbre. So we can intentionally filter out certain frequencies to sculpt and change the timbre of a sound. This is called subtractive synthesis. Here are different types of filters that we'll be using to sculpt sounds. Low pass, high pass, and band pass. To hear these filters in action, we'll be using white noise, which contains every frequencies at once from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. The way we use a filter is by changing a parameter called cutoff frequency, which determines what frequencies are filtered out. In the case of low pass, any frequencies above the cutoff frequency will be filtered out. Hence, the lower frequencies are passing through. So how do you think high pass filter works? The frequency contents below the set cutoff frequencies will be filtered out. Hence, higher frequencies passing through. Okay, let's hear it in action. Let's use a filter in Ableton. Let's try 1000 Hz as the cutoff frequency for this low pass. As we can hear, the sound is muffled because all the frequency contents above 1000 Hz are filtered out. So, in a way, your mask or the wall between you and your housemate are a low pass filter. Okay, let's try high pass filter. If we set the cutoff frequency to, let's say, 4000 Hz, we cut off all the frequencies below that value away. So you get a very sizzly type sound with no bassiness. The third type of filter that we can use is bandpass filter. It allows certain range of frequencies to go through and filters out everything else. When you set the cutoff frequency as 440 Hz as an example, frequencies that are below and above are filtered out. And we can use resonance control to set how far above and below the center frequency the filter will allow sounds to pass. This filter parameter is also called the quality factor, or better known as the Q factor. This determines how selective the filter is. The range becomes wider as we lower the value of the Q factor, and higher the Q factor, narrower the filter is. And low pass and high pass filters can have the Q factor parameter as well. When we increase the Q factor in the low pass filter, we see the cutoff frequency becoming more and more amplified and focused. And when the Q factor is lowered, the filter is less selective and filtering a wider range of frequencies as we can see and hear. Remember, the Q stands for quality, as in the quality of the filter. Okay, so that is Subtractive Synth in a nutshell. Similar to the Additive Synth video, I'll have a separate video for the Pure Data tutorial. So please do check that out if you have been learning PD. Next video, we'll be covering Envelope. <laughs>